We're on the brink of a potentially groundbreaking development in the world of XRP. There's buzz around the possibility of burning all the XRP currently in escrow. While the current burn rate stands at about 5,000 XRP per day, or approximately 1.825 million per year, there's increasing speculation that this rate is on the rise. Some commentators are even suggesting that as much as 25,000 XRP are being burned daily. And intriguingly, this activity is reportedly linked to Ripple's escrow accounts. The situation takes a more dramatic turn with statements from a former Ripple director, indicating that Ripple might execute a one-time massive burn of all the XRP in escrow. The likelihood of this happening appears to be more than just speculation. What makes this scenario even more captivating is its timing, coinciding with Ripple Labs announcing a buyback of almost $1 billion worth of XRP from its circulating supply. This has led many to theorize that this buyback and the potential escrow burn could be tied to Ripple's settlement with the SEC, and that Ripple still needs XRP, hence the buyback. The implications of such an escrow burn are enormous. If Ripple's entire escrow of XRP were to be burned, the value of XRP could skyrocket to $10,000 per token. My analysis, coupled with the growing number of partnerships Ripple Labs is forming and their need for XRP to support these collaborations, suggests that a valuation of $10,000 per XRP might be essential for the continued operation and expansion of Ripple Labs. Hey there, money side family, welcome back to your trusted source for everything XRP. Before we dive into today's content, let's kick things off with a bit of housekeeping. If you could do me a huge favor, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on those notifications to become a part of our vibrant community. And hold on, because we've got something exciting coming up. We're gearing up for an epic XRP giveaway once we hit 60,000 subscribers. Joining the giveaway is super simple. Just follow three easy steps. So make sure you're all set, and don't forget to drop a hash money side in the comments to ensure your entry. Numerous articles have echoed this sentiment, quoting XRP to hit $10,000 due to Ripple's cross-border payment partnerships. Such a significant increase in XRP's value is not just a possibility, but could very well be a necessity, given the expanding scope of Ripple's global partnerships and their reliance on XRP. XRP's growth trajectory has been nothing short of exponential, and recent reports, both leaked and public, are testifying to its global expansion. Notably, a leaked report from BlackRock has revealed that they plan to use XRP for cross-border payments. Here in this report, the key points are highlighted, underscoring XRP's emerging role as a globalized cross-border payment service. Adding to this momentum is the Central Bank of Ireland's recent announcement of their intention to utilize XRP for cross-border transactions. This move not only signifies the reliability and efficiency of XRP as a payment method, but also marks the official recognition of Ripple, the company behind XRP, as a registered virtual asset service provider. This is a significant endorsement of XRP. XRP's potential in the financial sector. In parallel, the Global Central Bank of Japan has initiated the deployment of XRP for their global payment solutions. This is part of a larger trend, with over 30 central banks now actively collaborating to develop a central bank digital currency on the XRP ledger. Of these, 19 central banks have reportedly purchased a total of over $9.4 billion worth of XRP. This figure doesn't even include the potential adoption of XRP by the FedNow Instant Payment Service. According to leaked information, the FedNow Instant Payment Platform is considering using XRP to handle the blockchain portion of their payment system. This development is a clear indication of the growing confidence in XRP's technology and its suitability for modern financial applications. The critical nature of the United States Federal Reserve's proposal to take complete ownership of XRP and Ripple Labs cannot be overstated. This move, aimed at blocking retail purchases of XRP, represents a significant shift in the financial landscape. The Federal Reserve strategy is to leverage the efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and eco-friendly aspects of the RippleNet system, which utilizes the XRP ledger and digital asset in lieu of building a traditional CBDC, central bank digital currency. This approach is particularly relevant given the global trend, where major central banks in over eight countries, including the BRICS nations, have already partnered with Ripple Labs to adopt the RippleNet system and the XRP ledger. Further emphasizing the Federal 
Federal Reserve's engagement with blockchain technology, they have publicly indicated that XRP and XLM could be instrumental in the blockchain component of their FedNow payment system. According to one of their reports, the FedNow services collaboration with Metal Blockchain for quick fiat and stablecoin conversions is a significant step towards merging traditional banking with decentralized finance. Currently, U.S. citizens can only execute instant domestic payments via third-party apps like Venmo and PayPal or through digital wallets for cryptocurrencies. However, the FedNow system, currently under development, plans to integrate cryptocurrencies into its framework. This platform has garnered participation from over 120 organizations, including recent entrants like U.S. Bank, Exchange Bank, as well as various payment processors and solution providers. We're on the verge of witnessing a significant development in the realm of digital finance, with the potential integration of Ripple into the FedNow service. Ripple, known for its advanced cross-border payment solutions and open-source distributed ledger technology, is one of the fintech companies being considered for this initiative. Additionally, Stellar Lumens, XLM, renowned for its blockchain-based payment network that facilitates quicker and more cost-effective global transactions, is also on the list of potential partners for the FedNow service. This brings us back to the two pivotal aspects of our discussion, the likelihood of XRP reaching a price of $10,000 in the near future and the potential large-scale burning of XRP from Ripple Labs escrow. These two factors are interlinked and will mark a significant milestone for the XRP digital asset. The forecasted mass burning of XRP from Ripple's escrow could be the catalyst for XRP to reach the anticipated $10,000 price point. This expectation has been further solidified by statements from a former Ripple director, Matt Hamilton, who indicated that Ripple could burn all the XRP held in its escrow wallet. This revelation is particularly crucial given Ripple's ongoing legal battle with the SEC, suggesting that such a burn could be a part of a potential settlement agreement. The implications of this are far-reaching. Not only would a massive burn in XRP supply potentially elevate its price to $10,000, but it would also lead to an unprecedented demand for XRP from both retail and institutional investors, who are increasingly looking to utilize digital assets like XRP for cross-border payments. As a result, we would witness a substantial decrease in XRP's available supply, necessitating a higher valuation per XRP token. The sheer scale of transactions transactions that XRP is set to handle is staggering. We're talking about over $1.2 quadrillion in transactions within the ISDA, or the International Swaps and Derivatives Association alone, necessitating a price of $10,000 per XRP due to the high volume and value of these transactions. This article perfectly encapsulates the magnitude stating clearly that XRP aims to facilitate transactions surpassing $1.2 quadrillion in the ISDA. And that's just one part of the equation. This figure doesn't even take into account other major players and systems where XRP is expected to make an impact. It excludes the potential use of XRP by SWIFT for payments, SBI's plans to expand XRP remittances across Southeast Asia, and significant acquisitions by financial giants like BlackRock and JP Morgan, who are reported to have begun acquiring over 7.5 million XRP. Furthermore, Ripple's partnerships, such as the one with a payment giant to enhance digital asset transactions and enable cross-border payments in Africa, are also not included in this calculation. When we consider the additional quadrillions from central banks and countries adopting XRP, coupled with trillions from the private financial sector, the need for an even higher value of XRP becomes evident. We might be looking at a potential valuation between $50,000 to $75,000 per XRP coin. While this may may sound far-fetched, it aligns with the reality that XRP is poised to facilitate immense volumes of money globally. Currently, XRP might be trading at 62 cents, but when I first invested in XRP, it was the technology and its capability to handle vast sums of money that convinced me of its potential. It's this very potential that necessitates a high value for XRP in the future, far beyond its current valuation. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.